Madagascar, the world's fourth largest island, is an enchanted paradise. Full of amazing landscapes, the island's unique flora and fauna is found nowhere else on Earth. But for the nearly 12 million Malagasy, who live on less than one dollar a day, this island is no paradise. Like most of Sub-Saharan Africa, Madagascar has a serious malaria problem. It is complicated by Madagascar's limited infrastructure. Almost 77% of the population live in rural areas, which are remote and difficult to reach by road. With scattered local health facilities, many Malagasy must walk several hours to reach medical help. Today, we are in the village of Ankaroka in southern Madagascar. We are meeting with Josette, a 34-year-old volunteer with two children. Josette is getting ready to do her regular door-to-door -door visits to some of the 300 households in her village. She is packing the products she will try to sell today. With each sale, Josette will keep a small percentage for herself. This profit acts as an incentive to ensure she regularly visits every household in her village. She will use the rest of the money from the sale to buy more stock at a special discounted rate. For the past five years, after receiving a free starter sales pack worth $20, Josette has been selling essential health products such as long-lasting insecticide-treated mosquito nets, malaria drugs, contraceptives and bottles of home water purification solution at highly subsidized prices. She has also been trained to deliver key health messages to the people in her village and provided with simple educational materials which she uses to inform the villagers about malaria and other important health matters. <laughs> Like the other 1,500 volunteers working with local NGO partner MCDI, Josette was selected for this work by her village chief and the local hospital. On donne donc un critère de sélection, un critère de tri au chef Foucault, au chef de village et au chef de l'hôpital. Et c'est à eux donc de, de recruter donc les animateurs villageoises. Bon, les critères donc les critères de tri ou de sélection donc euh, premièrement c'est le niveau de scolarisation. Il faut donc qu'au minimum donc les animateurs aient un diplôme de CEPE et qui savent lire et écrire et compter. Since Josette started to sell these products, she has noticed a real improvement in people's health, with the rate of malaria decreasing in her village. Over the last year, she has sold more than 20 nets, making her a personal profit of $12. <laughs> By delivering door-to-door -door basic health care, Josette is making sure that the link between good health and rural populations remains unbroken. The goal of the Ministry of Health and Population Services International PSI, an American NGO, is to have two community health agents like Josette, in every village throughout the country. A further 10,000 volunteers are still required to meet this goal. The community-based approach to health product distribution in Madagascar demonstrates how a country can increase health impact in rural areas and simultaneously economically empower people. With a coherent strategy defined by the government in collaboration with its partners, strong donor support and innovative people this model and its successes could certainly be replicated elsewhere.